Hi, good evening, everyone. Welcome to the Tommy Podcast, where I believe a healthy life starts with a healthy mind. So, if you are on the quest to improve your sleep quality, boost your positivity, enhance your English skills, and end your day with peacefulness, you are in the right place. What's the mindset today? We suffer due to our expectations and attention, not because of other people or external circumstances. Our suffering is often rooted in internal factors rather than external circumstances. Just together with me, reflect on the last time you felt sad, upset, anxious, depressed, or dissatisfied. Was the reason truly from other people or what happened to us? Or was the reason from our expectations and where we choose to direct our attention? Often, time we find ourselves concentrating more on the negative experiences than the positive ones. We tend to set high expectations on how the events should unfold or how others should treat us, and when the reality doesn't go our way, we experience sadness and frustration. This can relate to a story of mine. Yesterday, we had a camping trip by the river. Sitting around a campfire, we played a game called Telling Truth. In the game, everyone had to say one thing they liked about their partner and one thing they didn't like. Strangely, it was easier to find things we didn't like about each other than to identify things we loved. It made us realize how challenging it is to see and appreciate the positive sides of the people or things around us. Our minds often tend to think about what's going wrong rather than what's going right. If I asked you to tell me something that is bothering you today, you could probably list a lot of things like bad weather, traffic, or heavy workload. But if I ask you something that's making you happy today, It might be a bit tougher. That's where a simple trick comes in: focus on gratitude. At the end of the day, write down three things you're thankful for. It doesn't have to be something big or special or obvious. It can be small things like a stranger's help, a friendly smile from a colleague, having food on the table, a roof over your head, or having someone you care about to love and to be loved. The idea is to make the list of things that make you happy longer than the list of things that bother you. It could be as simple as being grateful for waking up in the morning, and having the ability to just live one more day. Remember to make a habit of practicing gratitude every single day. This practice helps us realize how fortunate we are compared to many people in the world. When we focus on what we have, we always seems to have more. However, when we focus on what we lack, we always find ourselves wanting more or that we don't have enough. Have you ever noticed that the fastest way to lose interest in something is to obsess over it? It's so true. When we are single, we miss the feeling and the sweetness of being in love. But when we are in a relationship, we miss the freedom and the solitude of being single. When we are jobless. We try to fill our free time, but once we have a job, we complain about not having enough time for ourselves. We often take our family and loved ones for granted when they are still here with us. However, when they are gone, we long for those moments. So it's important to value what we have instead of always wanting more, because sometimes what we really want is the feeling of having something, not the thing itself. Because the joy and the excitement of having something new don't last forever. The second reason we often feel miserable is because of our expectations. You know, the best way to control other people is to stop controlling and focus more on yourself. Don't rely on other people for your happiness. Whether it's about what they should say or what they should not say, what they should do or what they should not do. When you stop expecting too much from others, you feel better mentally and emotionally. You realize that you have the power to make yourself happy. So, if you are looking for someone to magically appear and suddenly make your life better, 
go and take a look at the mirror. That person is right in front of you. I hope you know that you are already everything you need. You're beautiful. You're talented. You're worthy. You're unique. You are enough, just as you are. So don't ever let anybody tell you that your happiness depends on them. You are the one who can create your own happiness. It's yours, and you don't need anyone to bring it to you, because if someone can be the source of your happiness, one day they can also take it away without your permission. Remember, no one can love you better than you love yourself. Once you love yourself enough, you can share that love with others. But always remember, you should be the first priority. You deserve to love and to be loved. Understanding this is very important in most relationships. It's perfectly fine if you and your partner don't share the same interests, because we are different individuals. You can't force someone to like what you like. Maybe you love sports and your partner prefers movies, or you enjoy going out while they like staying in, and that's completely okay, as long as at the end of the day, you are happy with each other. So to create a happy life, shift your focus to positivity, lower your expectations, and concentrate on improving yourself. Becoming a better version of yourself is a key. Remember, if you chase the butterflies, they may fly away, but if you spend your time building a beautiful garden, they will come to you. This is a friendly reminder to attract, not chase. I hope you have a beautiful garden within you, and I wish you a happy and fulfilled life. And that's the end of today's episode. If you enjoy the journey today, please hit the follow button on the platform you're listening on. I can't wait to catch you in the next one. Until then.